At work, Roy Tucker is an engineer. He spends countless hours in a finely tuned workshop turning out CCD chips, like the ones used in huge, powerful telescopes. After work, he's a built-in-your-backyard explorer, an astronomer slash philosopher, a passionate asteroid hunter. It is a sport. It's a stimulating intellectual challenge to uh, try to match my individual uh, abilities against uh, the other asteroid search teams that are out there. Every once in a while, I, you know, score one. Sure, that's a known object. But if I scroll down, I can find this guy. This right here is an unknown object. It has not been identified. It's sort of like getting out on the football field uh, against a whole team and occasionally being able to score a touchdown just by myself. Tucker scores a lot of touchdowns. He's chalked up 234 asteroid discoveries and counting. He has three near-Earth objects, or NEOs as they're called, to his credit. This is the actual first observatory facility that I built in my backyard back in the uh, late 1980s, 89 or thereabout. Tucker is a one-man show. Everything you see is made from scratch. Yeah, I did poured the concrete and uh, did all the wiring. I taught myself how to weld, so I actually produced the, the metal structures of the telescopes. The only thing he had to buy ready-made was this observatory dome. I managed to get uh, 60 or 70 asteroid discoveries with this telescope, and that's three near-Earth asteroids and one comet. Backyard astronomers are vital to NASA's efforts to ID and track 90% of the big near-Earth asteroids. Big, meaning asteroids more than a kilometer in size, or 10 football stadiums. So far, asteroid trackers have found about 800 of those. 